changes of state. The three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. Let's see if these changes are reversible, and whether they are physical or chemical. Let us see how ice converts to water, water converts to water vapor, and then how water vapor converts back into water, which converts into ice. At high altitudes and low temperatures glaciers start forming. These glaciers start melting at lower altitudes and higher temperatures. This is because the molecules in ice gain energy from the heat and start moving rapidly. Due to the increase of distance between molecules, the state changes from ice to water. As the temperatures increase even further, the water starts evaporating, that is, it changes from water to water vapor. The water vapor in the air condenses to form tiny water droplets, and billions of these droplets come together to form clouds. It starts raining when these water droplets collide in the cloud. That is, it converts into the liquid state again. We call it rain. Also, these water droplets can turn directly into snow at very low temperatures. We call it snowfall. The water freezes into snow at very cold temperatures and hence, the cycle repeats. Thus the changes of state is a reversible change. And a physical change because the property of the substance, that is water, doesn't change.